Hey guys, tonight we're smoking my GBD 9456 with some Gawith and Hogarth Innerdale Flake. Stick around. Hey guys, it's a beautiful night out here. Using my little tamper, the honey tamper that James Stumbo sent me. Sent me a couple of tampers. This one and a really cool baseball bat tamper. I'll have to get that out and show that to you in my next video. James is an amazing guy, man. He truly is. I meant to do a video on those and I didn't do it. James, I apologize for that. But this one's really cool. It's, it does a, it's a honey, like a honey dipper tamper. And he dips the bottom part in uh, some type of epoxy. And it makes it look like it's dipped in honey. It's really cool. And it's starting to sprinkle a little bit out here, but I'm going to hang out here for a while anyway. It's just water. As long as it doesn't start coming down too hard. I got a case on the phone, so should be fine. I am absolutely loving this Innerdale flake. It is. It's a delight, I'll tell you what. So this is the other GBD that I own. It's a little GBD 9456, I believe it is. Yep. I think I got this one from Market at uh, TPI. This is a sweet smoking little pipe, boy. It's a... Uh, This one I had smoked in my Christmas video and we were walking around the neighborhood at Christmas time. And I cleaned it and I put it I put it away after cleaning it. And I could not find it. And I did not know where I put this thing. And I had put it in my my little leather pipe case, not my pipe roll-up, because I use the pipe roll-up all the time. But I put it in another little pipe case that I had that holds about four pipes. 
for some reason I put it in there and I and I had put that in my a drawer because I I didn't use that one and I don't know why I put it in there I could not find this pipe for the longest time I was going through everything that you know, every place that I kept pipes all my stands all my cigar boxes that I had pipes in and that's when I started to realize I got too many pipes you know if I can't find a pipe I got too many pipes finally I went in, in my bedroom opened up my dresser drawer and there was the that pipe pipe case I pulled that out and opened it up and there it was had that and a bunch of the pipe tampers I had made that I brought back from Alaska some stone tampers I had found in Alaska that you know that were stones that were just perfect for tampers but I don't know why I put this pipe in in there why I had all those tampers in there and but they had been in there since around Christmas time Anyway, I found it. <laughs> I was watching that video from Christmas. And I'm like, "Where's that pipe? Why haven't I seen that pipe? I know, obviously, I brought it here. I didn't leave it back there, California. So I went on a mission looking for it. Finally, found it. So." But this is one that I won't get rid of because my GBDs are my going to be Lakeland pipes for me. Most of my pipes are going to be Lakeland pipes for me because that's pretty much all I'm smoking anymore. And if I smoke something else, I'm not going to mind if it's ghosted with Lakeland because I love Lakeland. So, but I'll have a few pipes that aren't Lakeland pipes. Oh boy, I sure love this Innerdale. figure any English pipe I have is definitely a, a Lakeland pipe. So.
having a rough go with the back the last couple days. It's been bugging me, boy. Ooh. But I'm doing all right. I'm I'm getting around. Just part of getting old. I just go back and watch my Uncle David video every once in a while. Just makes me laugh. <laughs> and I think, yep, I got it coming. I laughed at him when his back went out. <laughs> I deserve it. So we've got Cardinals and Blue Jays just all over the place right now. And uh, Robins, just everywhere. And these pine trees we got across the street here are just loaded with them. I guess they're nesting in those huge pines across the street. And they're flying in and out of there all day long. And I just love watching them. I just love watching them. The cardinals are just, the males are bright red and the females are an orange color. And I thought the males were beautiful, but man, those, those females, that orange color is just gorgeous. And the blue jays, those suckers are mean, man. <laughs> they don't let anybody near their nests. They're chasing everything away. A blue jay and a chasing a robin earlier today, and he just about knocked it out of the air right over here. Poor robin, man, landed on the wall here. Looked around like, what the hell was that all about? <laughs> and his robin's mate came over and was like. You okay? You all right? He's like, yeah, let's get the heck out of here. And they flew off. Boy, they, they got out of Dodge. Boy, that Blue Jay was all over them.
It's coming down a little bit harder now, but I'm gonna try and finish this pipe. So. Rained on me earlier, I didn't get to finish this one, so I still got that one half loaded up. But I'll finish that one later. I don't mind getting a little wet, but it ain't coming down that hard. So I got a bunch of things I got to do around the house tomorrow. I got to work on a, the uh, cabinet where I keep all my uh, tobacco in. Uh, a couple of the drawers or the handles on them are loose. I got to do some. The screws won't stay in the handle, so I gotta do some work on those handles and, and uh, put some wood in the in the holes, re redow the holes, and so I can rescrew into those holes so it'll hold on. The, the wooden handles are they're long strips, so. They're old Haywood Wakefield. It's Haywood Wakefield furniture, old stuff that was my in-laws. And uh, the handles just, during the move, they came off. So I gotta drill out the holes, put some dowels, glue those in, and then re-drill them for the, the screws and get that done so I can use those bottom two drawers for my tobacco cellar because I got too much tobacco to put in my in the two top, top drawers I need to utilize those bottom drawers now and uh, so I got to do that tomorrow I gotta go to Home Depot or uh, Harbor Freight, one of the two, and get a big long 50 foot extension cord so I can put up this bird feeder. about a little auger that you can use on your drill. So I don't want to dig up the, land, the yard to put this um, to dig the hole to put this pot pole in to put the bird feeder up. So I'm just trying to drill a small hole in the ground where I could just put the pole in and then fill the hole back in without digging up the yard too much. I gotta get a really long extension cord so I can get out to the part of the yard where I want it. The landlord is so just so cool here. She's like, you could put it anywhere you want it. And she bought the bird feeder for us. She knows I love to sit out here and watch the birds. 
She said, you put it anywhere you want it. I don't care where you put it. She goes, I'm, you know. And so her daughter does all the yard work and everything here. I don't have to do any yard work here. So I checked with her first to make sure that where I wanted to put it wasn't going to interfere with her doing the yard work. And she's so sweet. She was like, man, I really appreciate you asking first before you did anything. And I said, I don't want to make your job any harder than it is. You know, you're doing all the work. So... The landlord came, came by the house the other day. She told me, she goes, you guys can stay here forever if you want to. <laughs> she goes, which is really nice to hear. She goes, you are great, great tenants. You can stay here forever if you want to. Your, your lease is up in September or whatever she goes and I am not going to raise your rent so because <laughs> I've got good tenants and I'm not messing with that so but hopefully we could find a house so. but it's nice to know we, we don't have to rush so But she is so sweet. She's just such a sweet lady. But anyway, I am going to, holy smokes, 23 minutes. Okay. I'm hanging this one up right now, guys. So I have done enough talking for the night. I will catch y'all later. Bye-bye now.